Hey everybody. This is Dead Linux. And this is one more pre little let's play video here. Um, and this one is going to be a little different. This is kind of like a battle simulation, I guess. Make sure the difficulty is set to hard. I've got everything on. Let's just see what happens here. So, this is the Technic Pack on hard mode, basically. And we are going to load our guns. Oh! There we go. And uh, make sure we go in pistols blazing. Watch out for our friend lag. And see what happens here. So, it's kind of scary. Uh, so far, nothing too terrible yet. Oop. Got some bouncy boots going on here. Just a little bit. No, nothing too bad. Um, oh, hello. Lag. Okay. Boots of the Meteor. Some Thaumium leggings, and I got my composite vest on. My flak vest. So just a little random crap here. Trying to be careful, not get myself killed. Ooh, where is he? I hear him. Can you hear me? Oh, there he is. Oh! Oh! There we go. Oof. <sighs> Point blank. And there's nothing left of him. Okay, so recock that. By the way, this, uh, let me bounce up here. Whoopsie! Okay. This particular weapon I'm using is from Balcor's weapon mod. This is the uh, musket. Um, to use the musket, you must have the can uh, not the cannonballs, the musket rounds in your inventory, and before you fire, you have to cock it and load it. So that's what this is for. And when you get that sound, it's in it, and then there you go. When you see that little uh, but, uh, the 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 butt of the rifle go down, you know you're loaded. It's got somewhat of a kickback. and uh, it hurts like heck so it's kinda nice but it's a one-shot wonder so ooh eat it! there you go oh no see like that that's not good there we go eat that skeleton you weren't, you weren't ready for hot lead oh what? where? there we go that I was actually able to hold it back. That's a little funny. There we go. I don't think that charges it up. I mean, how can you charge up a bullet? Seems a little odd. Okay, so let's run through the run through the woods. Got a nice industrial craft tree there for some rubber if I need it. <gasps> creeper! Come here, creeper. Oh shoot, there's a couple of creepers! Eee, this could be bad! There we go. Oh, he didn't take it! Oh, jeez! Not cool. My Thaumium vest took most of it, or my composite vest, I think, took most of the blast on that. Still alive. Still running. I think I saw a werewolf around here somewhere. Where is he? Ooh, there's a wolf. Oh, shoot! Oh, here you go! There. Go, here we go. It's got a heck of a shot to it. Oh, there's another creeper. There, oh, shoot, and there's a wraith. Where is he? <gasps> there he is. Okay, this is going to get interesting real quick. Run! I'm being followed. Oh, jeez. Got to keep moving. Keep moving through the trees. Got to keep moving. Oh, shoot. Ouch, that hurt. Forget this. There we go. Need to just get through. Just need to get to some sort of shelter quickly. Somebody's got to be out here. Maybe there's nothing. Oh, there's rats. Lovely. Oh, shoot, that was a false fire. 
You know what? I'll switch up for the... Oh! Halberd! Here we go. We'll use my friend the Halberd. Right clicking switches it around. So you get a pointy attack, you get a hack attack. So it's kind of cool that way. Another ball core weapon mod item. Very easy to craft. Very easy to craft. A little bit of lag there again. Oh, don't lock up. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Oh, jeez. Come here, you little buster. Eat it. Not a bad weapon. Not a bad weapon at all. Jeez. There's nothing out here. I thought there was. Isn't there anything? No sort of safety or nothing? This doesn't make me happy at all. Let's see. Okay, so if I hit it's tab, no, it's not tab. What's the one for the big, is it period? Oh, key config. What's the big map? Toggle large map. Apostrophe. That's different than the normal. Okay, so we're going to do that. Shoot! Yep. Guess we're on our own. Um, ooh, there's all sorts of stuff under the water there. It's kind of cool. Werewolves. Do I have anything good for werewolves? You know what? I do. I got something good for werewolves. Eat this. That's right, Archangel Smite. That'll work. And this. This'll work. Alright. Boots of the Meteor. Hey, buddy. I see you! Oh, shoot. I was actually recording. Oh, shoot. Right. Oh, it's shift. There we go. Eat this. And I can run away really, really fast. Thanks to the Boots of the Meteor. I think I got him. Boots of the Meteor. So you probably wonder what I was doing with that. So here, if I hit F5, check this out. That's right. You hold shift on the way down, and you can blow stuff up. Only works down to uh, rock blocks, but here. Let me see if I can... Wow, I land on top of him, and he's a heck of a lot more powerful than I am. Oh no, I lost my skin. So, that didn't work out too well at all. Okay, we don't need... We don't need no stinking light. Oh, shoot. I can't see any eye. That's odd. Okay, I guess I can't use the cheats. That sucks. Hopefully there's some sort of shelter I can find before it gets to be too dark. What's this? What's this? Looks like we have some sort of, uh... Oh, I should probably explain that was my stepdaughter in the background there. She's leaving for a flinch sleepover while I'm dying here in Minecraft. What's these things, eh? Welcome to Thomcraft. Now, the Technic Pack includes Thomcraft, but includes Thomcraft 1.0. Oh, uh, here, let me get rid of this. Here, we can do this. Matmos, everybody. Matmos in the background. Uh, M-A-T-M-O-S, and comes with the uh, Technic Pack as well. It's a ambient sound pack. But we have, uh, these are, we call seals, in the middle of runes. So this one here is a fire rune, and down here are thomic nodes, um, with thomic pipes going all the way up to the top, and these things will stay powered. Then hopefully we'll get a chance to see them. Ooh, and here we go. There's a nice little zombie spawner. Here, let's see if we can get out of the rain. Goodness, I can talk a little bit better in the stairwell here. So let's go up to the top and see, really, what we have going on. Now you will notice that I wasn't able to uh, get in cheat mode with any eye. Um, like if I hit options here, I keep hitting recipe mode and cheat mode doesn't come back on. Uh, that's because you can turn it on or off in the config file and it prevents you from trying to click it right here. So as you can see, um, <laughs> I can't enable it. So I can't just spawn in items, which is great. So when I finally start playing this let's play that I've been talking about, I can turn it off. This here is the Thaumic Crucible. 
and it has thalmic energy in it, and it hurts when you jump on top of it, because I've dumped all sorts of stuff in it, so it's got power. And let's see if we've got anything that can help me out here. Oh, that'll help. Oh, and more boots of the meteor. Oh, and a blunderbuss. Okay, blunderbusses. Oh, and I don't have the ammo for them. Blunderbusses require blunderbuss charges. I don't have any of those. Ooh, but a crossbow will work. A crossbow bolts. Ooh, all that kind of stuff is fun. Oh, but I lost my, um... Shoot, I lost my Archangel Smite. Werewolves are tough. Werewolves are really tough. And they spawn on normal in, tech in the Technic pack. Um, ooh, cannonballs. Could use some of those. And I'll take some of the gunpowder. Oh, uh, was there a blunder... Uh, another shotgun? Shoot. Oh, well. Bunch of levers. Levers are good. Okay, and a jetpack, which... That's just going to get me in trouble. Okay. But we have these guys here. You probably saw these in the end. These are the other thing out of the ball core's weapon mod. This is the cannon. Cannons are very interesting. You can right click on them and then you're mounted in the cannon. And you can move all the way around. And uh, you can see, you know, as far as you can see. So if you have a cannonball in your inventory, the only thing is you have to put it in your hand, like so. And then you uh, right click on it. Makes that weird little sound. And usually there's another sound that accompanies it. But then you just look where you're going to shoot. Oh, looks like a zombie over there hiding in those trees. And you aim and you hit space. Oh, see? I didn't hit him. So then you just hold a cannonball again. Reload. And then we're going to shoot a little higher. There we go. Closer. He doesn't know what's going on. I think he ran for cover. He sees the sunlight. There we go. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Do we see any more enemies I can shoot at here? Not really. Okay, well, I'm going to show you a few other things. Okay, to get out of here, you have to not have a cannonball in your inventory and then uh, click. So, But you see I've got some eggs in my inventory here. These are nice little zombie eggs. And it's raining out, so they should survive. So let me show you how these thomic seals and, and uh, runes work. They're kind of like an automatic defense system. So this guy is a diamond rune. So if I click on the ground here with a zombie. Oh! Here we go. That's a diamond seal. So lightning. So it sh lightnings it to death. Lightnings it to death. Yeah, because that's a verb. Okay, let's do it with this one. We have fire here. Yeah, pretty cool. But notice they have to be in proximity to a thalmic node. Now, you're probably wondering what these guys are. This little guy down here. Looks like industrial craft, doesn't it? Hooked up to a uh, high voltage solar panel, solar array, as we talked about last time. So let me just spawn a bunch of these guys. Ooh. And they're all going to die because they, uh, they're right in front of that diamond um, seal. Oh, did they all die? They probably all died, didn't they? Damn it. They did. Or did they? Anybody? Okay, well, let's just do this quick. Oh. I died. Shoot. That wasn't what I expected to have have, have happen. <laughs> I keep forgetting if I do that, they, they happen to spawn on the railing, and then I totally miss my chance. So that kind of sucks. But I was going to show you the last little device here. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, shoot. Oh, well. Well, I'll demonstrate with my own life here. So... Oh, there's my stuff. Yay! Oh, somebody's still here? I hear somebody. There's my crossbow. Oh, I didn't even show you the crossbow. That sucks. Okay, we gotta do that. I gotta show you the crossbow. The crossbow's pretty cool. Ooh! Where is he? I hear him. Is he hiding in the rain? 
Oh, there he is. You're about to get dusted, buddy. I'll take care of you quick. Don't you worry. Can, yeah, they can climb stairs now, too, can't they? Whoopsie! This uh, staircase is really disturbing. I'm sorry. He is climbing the stairs, isn't he? Oh. Just in case he is. Maybe he isn't. Let's take a look. Maybe, was he smart enough to path all the way up the stairs? Not sure. But, just in case, we're going to flip this little switch. Leading down to that red alloy wire down there. Which has activated the most evil invention known to man. That right there is a Tesla coil. It will kill you, it will quill it will kill enemies, it will kill everything. It's absolutely destructive. I'm wondering if I can even set it off. I don't think I can. I don't have any items to do it with. I may have to I may have to demonstrate with my own my own self. So go down here. There we go. Now you're about to see me die real quick. So these are just some of the weapons. Um, yep. I'm gonna about to buy it. Oh, not yet. Oh, jeez. There you go. Tesla coil. So, let me just turn this uh, to peaceful for a second. Kind of talk a little bit. And too bad I don't have a bed, or otherwise I could just sleep through the night, but I don't. But, um, this is just me playing around with some of the weapons from the various mods. And they're pretty cool. Um, they're different. They take a little bit of training to use. So hopefully this has helped you kind of figure them out in the Technic pack. Um, oh, that Tesla coil's still on. Dang it. See, it's got a range on it. Ooh. Jeez. It's pretty heavy duty. Um, hopefully I can break the current from over here. There we go. whoof -da. It's pretty intense. I'm sorry it's raining this whole time. That is kind of annoying. Oh, but just the crossbow. One more thing. Same sort of thing. You hold down to cock it. Now this one is like a bow. You can't actually charge it up and let it go. But you get nothing different out of it. So you click it and just shoot it. It's the same distance and the same power. It still goes pretty far. It's pretty cool. So those are the basics. So hopefully this has been very random sort of test of the uh, the weapons and the energies and the sources of power in the Technic pack and um, sort of shown you kind of how things work. I can't even hit him? Oh, well, He's just a turtle anyway. Nice little volcano here too. Like that? So as far as making stuff You'll have NEI installed when you install the Technic Pack. You can figure it out. Not too big of a deal. Uh, most of this stuff with Balcor's weapon mods is very easy to make and easy to craft, except for the, I think the cannons are a little bit of a pain. I did actually spawn those in just so you could see how they work. They do work like items. You can push them off of those ledges. Um, but uh, all you need is cannonballs in your inventory. For a blunderbuss, you just need blunderbuss uh, charges. For the musket, you need musket balls, but you must also have gunpowder in your inventory. Actually, I think with the cannon, you also need gunpowder in your inventory, or they won't go off. Mm, wait, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong about that. I think they'll actually shoot without gunpowder. This is the longest rainstorm in the world. I'm not turning cheat mode off again when I'm doing a tutorial like this. Was it finally done? No, oh, it's still going. How annoying. But you can push them off of here, I guess. Let me just sh kind of show you. See, so be careful where you put them. That does break them. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I lost my boots. I lost my boots. That's it. Then we should finally go on a journey. But I hope you enjoyed it. So after this, we'll be starting my let's play. And I'm going to be starting on hard mode. And we will be oh, basically. Uh, just trying to see how well we survive, and I'm more of a 
different kind of Minecraft player where, ooh, where I just like uh, figuring out how to survive best. I don't really care about the mods as much. Ooh, I sort of do. Wow, this is really annoying. I just want to see if I can ride this guy. I read that you could. Yay! So, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. And, um... Have fun. See you soon. Take care.